Mic check, mic check, one, two. Welcome back to Vagra Brothers. Right now we are in the foothills of the Andes in Mendoza, Argentina, the largest winemaking region in Latin America, famous for Malbec wine. We've been invited down here by Alamos Wines to do some tastings at their vineyard, cook a classic Argentine asado with some cowboys, and of course, wash it all down with plenty of vino. You ready? Vamanos. Woo! Chin -chin. Right, well, the first stop here in Mendoza is the Basilico de San Francisco. Basically, as you can see, there's not too much left. And that's because this church was destroyed in an earthquake, right? Well, back it up a bit. The city was founded by the Spanish. They were taking gold from the Andes, and this was a waypoint station, a place for them to rest for the winter on their way to Buenos Aires and from the port back to Spain. Some of the original settlers were Jesuits, like this was a Jesuit church, and the Jesuits brought with them wine. And that's kind of how the story of Mendoza and wine begins. But one of the interesting things is that when they came here, they found the system of canals was called the Asaquias. It was created by the Huarpes, which was the indigenous tribe that was here before the Spanish. The Spanish had similar irrigation systems throughout their empire, which they adopted from the Arabs. It's the only one in the entire Spanish empire that existed before the Spanish arrived. Interesting. Speaking of water and wine, I'm getting a little bit thirsty. I think it's time for us to try our first sip of Mendoza wine. Let's go. We just arrived at Bar Decimo, which is this really cool little wine bar at the top of this building overlooking all of downtown Mendoza. And it's pretty much sunset. Kind of have a little bit of overcast weather today, but still the perfect place for an evening glass of wine. So we're gonna indulge, imbibe in our first glass of local wine. Good. I'm digging it. But tomorrow we're gonna learn a lot more about this. We're going to the source, the vineyards themselves. So cheers to that. Good morning guys, the adventure continues. Right now we're about an hour and a half outside of the city of Mendoza in Los Alimos Vineyards, El Cepillo, in the Valle de Uco. Okay, so the Valle de Uco, or the Uco Valley, is one of the best places to grow wine in all of Argentina. And that's because it's elevated to 1,200 meters. The Andes are literally right outside the vineyard. And so we're gonna go meet up with some of the folks from Alamos who are gonna teach us a bit more about what makes this such a great place to grow wine. Vamanos, brindis. Time to drink some wine. Chin chin. So what we are drinking right now is a Malbec grape, which is being grown behind us as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about the grape? So it's a varietal that comes from France. It was imported in 1852 mm -hmm. by a French botanist. And it seems that it's found its place in Mendoza. So expression of Malbec in Uco Valley, it's very, very concentrated. We're gonna find many aromas that range from the very fruity, especially from this vineyard. You're gonna find some floral notes coming out. Lots of legs on this glass too, it's mm, lovely. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Look how inky the color is. Yeah. This wine really embodies a lot of Argentina. It took some traditions from Europe, brought them, combined them with what was already here, and made it even better. I like it. So one of the things that makes Malbec special is the color. What's important is what's in the skins. Hmm? Very inky color. This is what makes Malbec interesting. So if you want, you can bite on one. Okay, so open it. Pretty thick skin, no? Yeah, super thick. It's even crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so we are in a Malbec vineyard here in Mendoza, and check out my tongue. Ah! 
not it's not a snapchat filter that's actually in my tongue Well, the adventure has just become a real adventure. We are pretty much stuck. I don't think we're getting out of here. The plan is to go to this ranch called Rancho Iquero, which is just up here. We are literally in the foothills of the Andes. The car is stuck, we're in thick mud. There's a little mist coming off the mountains, but we're gonna continue. And we'll tell you why when we get there. You don't need AAA, you don't need AA. What you need is one A. Argentino. <laughs> All this into there, and then onwards up there. Well, that was a crazy 4x4 four four adventure, but we have arrived safe and sound in one piece to Rancho Iquero. Okay, so Argentinian ranching culture revolves around the life of the gauchos, Argentine cowboys who raise cattle to produce beef, which is Argentina's other famous export, which goes perfectly with a cup of Malbec. So before we can be gauchos, we have to dress like them. What we do here Looking the part back, never back, felt back, so back, good. Back, Listo? Back, back. Vamos! So, the whole point of the gaucho was to be herding the cattle around these large ranches. Argentina has a huge culture of ranches, which are called estancias. This is an estancia, and we're gonna go herd these cattle, and then later, have some prime Argentine beef for an Argentinian barbecue known as an asado. Okay, so we've herded the cattle, and now we're back in the little cabin complex. How chill is this? So over here, Juan Ricardo is setting up a fire for the asado. Perfect. Here we have ribs, it's our cow ribs. We have flank, and we have filet mignon, and we have pork sausage. One of the great things about the uh, Argentinian beef is that the quality is so good that it doesn't require any kind of special seasoning. We just put salt, and straight to the parrilla, and we cook it.
Well, that was a most excellent feast. I think we've seen so much here of Mendoza. So big thanks to Alamos Wines for bringing us out here and to the Palma family from Rancho Iquero for being such great hosts. If you guys enjoyed that video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vaga Brothers for new travel videos every Tuesday and Saturday. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road, more specifically, in Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Hasta luego, chicos. Ciao, guys.